Good evening, everyone. Welcome. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Hello, Glenda. Hello, Crazy Cat Lady. Hello, Karen. Hello, Deb. Hello, Sarah. Hello, Kelly. I see a lot of love in the intro. Hello, Melissa. The intro changes on Thursday. Well, no, Friday. I lied. Friday. <laughs> it changes over on Friday. Hello, Hez. Hello, Luann. Hi, everyone. Welcome, welcome. Hello, Christina. Hello, Angel. Hello, Lee. Hello, Marlene. Hello, Beverly. Hello, Valencia. Hi, everybody. Hello, Amalia. Welcome in. Welcome in, everybody. So, uh, tonight we are going to be talking about some pop art flowers. I am going to be making two cards tonight. And uh, I, I can't tell you which one's my favorite because I don't know which one is my favorite. I love them both so very much. And um, this paper pack has been so incredibly popular uh, that we've now reordered it twice. Where's your Brutus and Rowe wear for Spirit Day? Oh, Penny, I had too many meetings today <laughs> to be wearing goofy t-shirts and stuff. Um, but... I, I do want to get some Brutus and Rowe polos. I, I want to get a Brutus and Rowe polo that I can wear for spirit days in the future. Um, but this paper pad is what we are going to use tonight. And I have an extra special little deal for everyone that is on here with me virtually. If you are on this live, we are doing another one of those little promos that the system knows that you're coming from YouTube or from Facebook. And when you add stuff to... Um, when you t I have a bite well I mean 
for some of the meetings that I'm having, tie-dye might not have been the most appropriate. <laughs> I guess that's all. Um, so if you add things to your cart and you're coming from this live, you will automatically get a special discount. You will find it at checkout. It does not happen right away. It only happens in your cart. So uh, don't say that I'm not seeing it. It's not happening. I don't know what to do. It will automatically happen once you get to the cart screen. And uh, it's just a little extra special something uh, to prepare for uh, my birthday that's coming up on Saturday. And this weekend is when the big hoorah sale uh, will happen because you know I always do something pretty exciting uh, for my birthday. So, and also the birthday box launches on Friday. So we have lots of things, lots of things happening, lots of things going on. Um, so let's go ahead and let's head down to the table and let's get started on our very first card. They're both very simple cards tonight, uh, ones that you can achieve very simply, and um, I'm really excited about them. I think it's going to be a lot of fun. So let's go ahead down to the top view. Oh, let me raise my desk up a little bit. I can tell it's not all the way up. Let me set my phone on my little, look at what I have. Do you all have one of these yet? I'm so in love with this thing. We sell them here at Brutus Renault. It folds down completely flat to put in your backpack or your purse or whatever you have. But I am obsessed with mine. This is what I put my phone on whenever I am live so I can see if anything pops up. Um, I'm ec ecstatic about this. The birthday box is $74.99. $74.99. So uh, I guess plan your budgets accordingly. All right, everybody. And do you see how this never leaves my desk? <laughs> these, these are always gonna be a permanent fixture on the side of my desk because I, um, it's the best, it's one of the best things that we came up with. We call them superlative products at Brutus Row. It's probably one of the best superlative products we've ever come out with, honestly. Okay, so for our first card, we need to grab a piece of our floral cardstock. And the one that I used earlier on my sample card, I have to find that one. I know it's here somewhere. It's probably my one of my favorites out of the whole the whole set, and it will be the only one that I don't have a second one of. Because that's that's just how that's Murphy's Law, right? Although I have a I get like a huge pack. They give me uh, I don't have like an actual pack. I have just all of the designs like quadruply oh it's this one okay so let's move all of my other sheets to the side isn't it isn't it gorgeous it's it's one of the most gorgeous paper pads we've ever come out with so this again is going to be a very simple card all we're going to do hello liz i hope you had a, a wonderful dinner i know you did because every time we go there it's it's wonderful and we get to go there again on saturday oh there we go Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our trusty scissors and we're gonna fussy cut this out. It's very simple to fussy cut this. I'm gonna cut off this strip. This strip is my sample strip, so they come on like a giant sheet for me and I'm gonna cut off my sample strip. And all I'm gonna do is just go around these flowers. It does not need to be perfect. It just, we just want it to uh, be perfect adjacent because the way that the paper that this is going to go up against is going to hide the fact that it's not perfect okay so we're going to go ahead and just cut around these flowers and if you don't cut them out great this time around you can go ahead and come back in and kind of trim them up a little bit better it's super simple. We don't need to cut all the way up because it's not going to make a difference because we're gonna cut off right around this orange flower. And the key is to have some very, very sharp scissors when you're doing this because this our paper is printed on 80 pound cardstock, so it's a bit thicker than your average cardstock which I think is a is a good thing when you're trying to do what we're doing here today 
how's everybody's day going so far? Good? So far, so good. Ah, uh, she was in the office, but it was make and take day. So uh, make and take days, she is not around the studio. On make and take days, she's very busy. But this isn't really, I wouldn't really consider this fussy cotton because this was, that was too easy. <laughs> that was, that was way too easy. All right. So what we're going to do is we're going to take a, an A2 card base, our pre-cut, pre-scored card bases. And you can see it's already pre-scored in the middle. We are going to pop. We're going to go ahead and fold right into the center. I think you've all seen me do this before. It's the easiest way to make a gatefold card. And we're going to take our bone folder and fold this down. And then you're going to kind of get the idea of what we're doing here. So it's going to pop right off of there, but you can see where we're going to cut right up here at the top because this is still five and a half. So we're going to cut this at five and a quarter. On the Big Daddy trimmer. Oh yeah, Dana did such a good job. All right, and then this is going to get adhered to this side, and you'll see how it's gonna hang off here just a little bit. It's gonna be absolutely gorgina. And then we need to cut off a piece for here. I already know that this is gonna be one and three quarters. I already have my paper um, cut down. So it's gonna be one and three quarters by so we'll cut this down this is our chunky holographic glitter stock by five and a quarter and then we're going to adhere this to this side see how simple that is so far all right but first well let's adhere this to this side first Grab some roll adhesive here. Yes, move your paper, not your scissors. I learned that from Miss Carol Duvall. We're just gonna place this right in the center here. So that's our side A. And then for this side, I want to use some of our new foam. Okay, so I'm going to remember, since this has this protective layer on it, you can cut it right in half. And it's not gonna hurt your scissors, not gonna gum them up at all, because it's protected on both sides. I don't know uh, if we have any more of this foam tape. Uh, I know it was at SOS status as of yesterday. It might be still SOS today. I don't know. And again, I need this little piece here, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my scissors, and I don't have to worry about it gumming up my scissors, because remember, it is protected on both sides. It sold out yesterday on the live. Okay, well, sorry everyone. We'll be getting more back in, I promise. And then we're just gonna take off the backer piece. Oh, yes. Okay. So then we are just going to take this piece and place it like so. And now we're gonna have some dimension. See that dimension there? And then our card is gonna close like that. And then you'll be able to open it like this. Isn't that incredible? All right. So now, of course, I've got to add some gems, right? I mean, who doesn't want to add gems? <laughs> I mean, I know I do. I can't, I can't do much without gems now that we have our own. So let me grab my little container. Have you all gotten your gems yet? I 
I mean, I know a ton of you have because I've been seeing them. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take a little bit of glue and go all the way around the outside of my flower. And don't worry, you don't have to watch me gem forever. I have one of these pre-done. But you're just going to go around and you're going to add your gems to your flowers because there's already that little pre drawn in little circles that go around your flowers. So you're just going to add your gems all the way around. Oh, and also, if you want the Eclipse slash Moon Phase Simple Blend, it's now available for purchase separately. You could get it for free yesterday, but now it's available for purchase separately. If you would like it. All right, and there's our last one, so you'll get the idea. We're still working on 12 by 12 paper. It's just the cost is so high for it. It's so high for it. All right, let me just pour these back in. These little triangle guys, when you don't, you know, drop them is great. Um, what is that you're using to put gems on? This is a stabby tool from Gina K. We're hoping to get them back in stock soon, but we do sell a gem picker that you can use as well. So you can see now how this goes together and how it's all going to be shining, shimmering, splendid. But of course, through the magic of television, I have a swap out and the swap out has the gems on it already. So let me show you here. Let's zoom in a little bit and you'll be able to see how gorgeous our gems are at Brutus Monroe already on that flower. Isn't that spectacular? You need to get your gems, folks. I'll tell you, they are the most sparkly gems <laughs> that are out there. I'm not, I, I, I'm not lying. I'm not lying to you. I searched long and hard to find the best gems that we could get for you. Because you know me, I am a gem aficionado. I love my gems. All right. So now we are going to take from our... And this is at SOS status too right now. Uh, the You Are Magical. Because I think magical kind of goes with the florals, right? You Are Magical. Got my little scrap piece of paper. And I'm going to have to grab my coordinating die as well. Is it this one? It sure is. First try. That won't happen again. <laughs> and let me grab my, where is my, I will use this acrylic block. It's a little bit big for it, but it's the only one I can find within arm's distance right now. Oh, that's not going to work because I stamped over top. There's a thing here for the keyboard. And that always happens. I always forget that it's there. I need to like put like a warning there. There we go. Much better. I know, don't they? I love these flowers. I mean, not only do they pop, but with the gems and the magical Mr. Mistopheles, I, I can't get enough of it. And then all we need is just a very simple sentiment, in my opinion. Now, you can, you can get crazy with it if you want. Oh, yeah, there's new can Oh, the new pretzels, y'all. Whoo! 
Uh, yes, the gems are all the same size in the package. I just saw my mom. My mom repeated someone's question. They are the same size in the package. They are all three millimeters. I chose the most popular size that I used, and um, that's what we put in there. We did not mix the sizes, because then you always run out of one size. At least that's what happens to me. cut out now uh, it is a, it would be about that <laughs> so we're working on it though we are definitely working on it because we've we've heard your your pleas to have not your mama's in a larger size we have heard the pleas and we are working on it all right and then for here we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna pop that up let me use a piece of my foam that I have left over okay so I need about a half piece for this, but again, oh, I already have one. But what's great is I can even cut this down a little bit further. See that? And just leave that on there because it does not hurt your scissors. I should probably stop talking about how great it is because it's sold out, but we will be getting more in. You're welcome for the discount. Enjoy. Now is your time to get some, some goodies. All right. Oh, you did. Yes, the freebie trays are great. All right, we're just going to place that on there. And that, to me, I mean, what? I don't, think, what, what, what? I don't think we need anything else. So simple and easy. And then it opens like this. Now you could put a piece of like pattern paper inside if you don't like the way it folds a little bit, but it's, I, I, um, that doesn't bother me. The birthday box comes out on Friday. And we only have a hundred of them this year. That's all we have is a hundred. And all of the bonus products will come out with them too. I love that. I do, Amy. All right. That was card number one. Let me put that behind me here. Oops. I got to stamp it. We go have you all gotten your no day but today stamps yet it's wonderful to put on the back of your cards what's in the box uh hello candy we will be talking about it on friday i'll be doing a special friday live oh oh good candy i'm glad you got it all right for my next trick <laughs> For my next trick, I'm going to need my Gina K, my dear sweet Gina K. I'm going to need her fuse machine. We're going to turn this up to a four. And you might be saying, Christopher, why? Do you have out the fuse? To which I will reply, it's about to get real exciting. <laughs> that is what I will reply with. Nothing up my no, nothing up my sleeves. So, what you might not know about the Brutus Monroe cardstock sheets. I think this is the one we're going to use. Yeah, we're going to use this one. Is that, did you know that you can foil them? So, 
you can take your beauteous. So this is, hold on. This is the Magical Shattered Glass toner sheets. These are from ThermoWeb. Uh, if you find them on the website, I'm exhausted from signing every single one of these. Um, if you look up 19114 or just look up Magical Shattered Glass, you'll find these. These are clear. So you can see that they're clear. Now, when you hold them, if they go like this, that means it's in the right direction. If you hold it and they try to flip up, see how that's flipping up on the side? That's the wrong side. So what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna cut this down really quickly because it has my sample strip on it and we don't need that. Take the sample strip off. And we're going to take our magical shattered glass we're going to place that right on top, okay? But what I would suggest doing so that you get a two for one is grab yourself two sheets and do both sides, okay? So we're going to grab this and place it on the back side. You might as well. Well, we'll do it once it's in the, in the folder. So we're going to grab our folder. Place this inside of the folder. Okay, see how that's all lined up? Then flip her over and you'll do both sides because why waste this other side? Okay. So do both sides at the same time. Because once we, because we're just going to cut a strip out of this. So then we can use either side that we want. Show them how to tell. Um, uh, I think I just did. So if your foil, so this is one that I've already used. If your foil curls like this, perfectly curls down, that's the right side. And if it folds up, see how this corner is folding upwards? It is going to, um, that's the wrong side. And when I'm doing double-sided foiling, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this out and I'm gonna flip it. So I'm gonna send it through one more time because I, 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 I wanna flip it over. No problem, Penny. Because I'm doing two sides. All right, so now we are done with the machine. So we're going to turn this off and unplug it. Oh, it's breathtaking. It's another one of those, you know I love my how did they do that cards? That's what this will be. Let me put my fuse away. Okay, and you always wanna let this cool. You wanna let this cool a little bit because if you don't, you know, the, the, the hot, oh yeah, the, the, the cracking sound, the crackling sound is great. All right, so then we do one, two, three, pull. And one, two, three, pull. And now look at this cardstock. So now you can see some areas it didn't adhere to, and that's just because I was impatient and didn't let it cool all the way. But now, I mean, right? And this is one that I did earlier. Hello, Jerry, we're making a card. But look at how stunning that is. Isn't that cool? Now, of course, if you have a paper that has white, see the white here? It's not gonna stick to that because there's no toner on that, 
All right, but that's a really cool effect as well. All right, now for our card, we need to cut these down to four and three quarters. So four and three quarters by one and three quarters. Okay, so we have our two pieces here. They're gonna go like this on our card. And then we need to pick out a background. We're gonna to need to pick out a background color, which I am leaning towards rouge because I think rouge is really gonna complement this paper. What do we think, rouge? I think rouge. That's okay. It's going to look pretty on the card. <laughs> okay, so this needs to be, we're going to do five, five by four and a quarter, no, We'll do three and three quarters for our matting piece. Yes, the magic is coming. So you'll see this is our, our matting piece, which is a little bit of a little bit of, we're giving a lot more white than we normally would around the outside, but that's because we really want that extra oomph of white because of the these are going to come down in this direction like so see that's going to give us a little visual interest on the outside okay but we need to add a little bit more visual interest to this so because that's pretty but it's it's a little too plain for me here at, at good old brutus renault headquarters so I'm gonna place this on my stick and stamp. If you get a chance, I made two orders. It was too hasty on the first order. Can you guys ship all in one box? Uh, usually they will do that for you. They will usually do that automatically. Um, so you should be good. And I'm gonna use our brand new stencil that is called crosshatch hello walter and i'm going to use one of my favorite colors from mr simon hurley and that is prom queen although i call it prom night and i'm going to use a little pixie spray just because this is a detailed stencil and it doesn't hurt get yourself a Get yourself self, uh, a thing of pixie spray because it will definitely enhance your stenciling. Okay, dokie, where is my blending brush? Here we go. Whoopsies, whoopsie doozy. And it's not going to look like much. You're going to be like, what are you doing? Yes, orders at BrutusRodeau.com too. I have the plaid papers in the right. Oh, yeah. I'm using the plaid papers on Tuesday. Or maybe it's Thursday. I don't know. I have to look at the... I have to look at the production sheets. Yes, Retro Rainbow is very cool. Wait till you see we have two new paper pads launching... I think it's next week. We have quite a few goodies up our sleeves coming up. All right, so there we go. And look how cool that is. Yes, we will have more stick and stamp mats in uh, probably by the end of April. We have our special 10 year anniversary. Uh, our 10 year anniversary is, one is coming.
Okay. Oh, good, Melissa. Good, good, good. Okay, and now for my next trick, we are going to add a little bit of Gilded Shimmer Splash. And a little bit of our white aqua splash. I know, doesn't it seem like that? Isn't it wild? All right, okay. And then we're gonna let this sit. I'm gonna actually hit it with a little heat real quick. Isn't it great? So simple. All right, so we're just gonna let this sit to the side for a second. And we are going to prep our next phase. All right, so for our background, we are gonna do a circle. And I'm going to use, I'm gonna flip the script a little bit. And I'm gonna use some of our marble paper, cause I mean, right? I mean, we already have the gold. We've got the marble going on. Why not? It's got all the colors. Our whole color family is going to be, it's gonna be working together. Makes sense to me. And let me grab. What size circle is this guy? Three and a half inch circle. Looking away. <laughs> so we're gonna use these two circles together to give us, um, we wanna have a we're not gonna use them together like this. You'll see what I mean. Just stay tuned. Just stay tuned, my friends. All right, we wanna get a little bit of all the colors out of this. All right, send this through the lawnmower. We have our perfectly cut circle. All right. And then we're going to need a piece of white for our next circle. And I want to use some simple blend or some perfect blend because we're going to do a little bit more blending. Let me grab a piece of scrap here. I know, right? I couldn't agree more. All right, I'm gonna send this through.
Yes, you need three. <laughs> yes. Place that right in the center. And then we're going to grab one of my favorite stencils of all times. And I can't remember what the name of it is off the top of my head. But we're going to add just a, a hint of... We're just going to take what was already on our blending brush here. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to rotate. Okay. Just hit it with a little bit more. And that's going to give us kind of a three-dimensional look. Then we're going to adhere these two together. Okay, and that's just going to give us a little bit of visual interest on there. Flower burst, that's it, yep. And then we're going to do the magical stamp again because why not? And I believe this is Flamingo cardstock. I did it again. There we go. And actually, I'm not in love with this stenciling. It didn't move the way I wanted to. So we're going to redo that cut. And that's the beauty of I think I might just use Yeah, I think we need to listen. When you think there's too much shimmer, Add three more shakes. This is going to be one of the most shimmerlicious cards you ever did see. Sure do. <laughs> sure do. She can find them. She's expert level. All right. There we go. Much better. Shine that up with our squeaky clean cloth. And then we're going to cut this puppy out. Again, I should just cut out a ton of these because I um, have been using this sentiment so much. So, so much. Oh, good. Let 
We're just going to adhere this right to the center. There we go. So now we can start assembling because this is dry. Or at least dry adjacent. Nope, wasn't completely dry. Place this right there in the middle. There we go. Now we'll take our panels. And place those. Like so, and we still have our shimmer and our little, we just wanted, you know, some things in the background. Then we're gonna place this right in the center. Actually, no, let's pop this off. are magical right in the center then it almost looks like these are growing it's growing out of here and then we need some gems <laughs> you have all the things well there you go I'm gonna use the crystal yep or no let's use light pink We're going to do one, two, three, whoops, a doozy. One, two, three. Our Brutus Monroe gems. There we go. I love these new gems. And there is our second card. So simple, so easy. And then let me grab our first card real quick. So two cards using that really fun paper pad and two different, oh, oh my goodness gracious, did you see what I did? A man handled the gem. There we go. So, so simple, so easy. I mean, could not be simpler for us to, to create these cards today and using, you know, very simple, really simple supplies. You can change them up however you would like. Are the gems flat enough to mail? Um, I would say yes. You're just going to want to put an extra piece of paper over top. All right, everyone. That is all I have for you this evening. And I'm three minutes early. Wow. So... Thank you all so much for hanging out with me this evening. Thank you for being a part of my life. I appreciate you all so very much. Take advantage of that discount that you're getting tonight until midnight Eastern Standard, well, 11.59 Eastern Standard Time. If you're here watching me live or you're watching this as a replay, um, the discount appeared in the cart, but when you check out, it comes out. Did that happen for anybody else? Hi, Mini Scoos. I love you, too. Did that happen for anybody else? 
the discount left the card. Hmm, I'm not sure, Beverly. You might um you might not be able to be logged in. If you're a subscriber, that might be the issue. All right, everybody, remember to create something every single day, whether that is simply a memory or your own ending. I love you all to pieces, and I will see you all very soon. Good night, my friends.